For more than 25 years, Colombia has been working to leave behind the violent legacy of Pablo Escobar. But there's one unusual problem that keeps growing, the notorious drug lord's pet hippos. Manuel Bajorquez reports. Along the shallow waterways of Colombia's Magdalena River, an invasive species threatens the ecosystem and possibly a way of life. There are fishing villages that dot the river, and we've just spotted what appears to be a hippo uh, who is now trying to hide from us. There it is. There it is. Wow. A brief glimpse of a giant native only to Africa, now running wild in Colombia. The story of the hippo starts here, via Napolis, the former estate of Pablo Escobar, who in his heyday had four hippos smuggled here for his private zoo. Escobar's ranch housed hundreds of exotic animals, including rhinos, elephants, and giraffes. By the 80s, his cocaine empire made him the wealthiest and most feared drug lord in the world. For Colombia, it was a reign of terror. He's said to be responsible for some 7,000 deaths. Yo soy Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. Still, he's become part of popular culture with shows like Netflix's Narcos. Hipopotamos. In this scene, Escobar's character threatens to throw a rival leader to the hippos. Around the time Escobar met his death in the early 90s, the government relocated most of the animals, but not the hippos. People forgot the hippos. People forgot the hippos. So the hippos were then allowed to just roam free. Yes. And they Basical. had Basical. they that had happened. offspring. Biologist David Echeverri works with Cornare, the environmental agency in charge of tracking and managing the hippos in the region. And how many are there now? Uh, about 50 hippos or, 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 more. Uh, or more. That you know of, there are 50, but you, clearly you're not going to be able to see them all. Yes, because look at, look at the round. There's a huge area, and uh, that's a paradise for the hippos. Paradise because they have no predators and ample food and water. But they're getting too close to people. It's not uncommon to spot a 3,000-pound hippo walking around town. Locals call them the village pets. Echeverri says they're anything but. The hippos are very dangerous. The hippos are territorial species. So they will attack people? Yes, yes. In Africa, hippos cause more human deaths than any other large animal. So far, there are no known attacks in Colombia. The majority of the hippos still live inside Escobar's former estate, which was turned into a theme park back in 2007. Okay. So he's saying we're getting as close as we can to these hippos. At the main lake here. Entonces, mucho, mucho cuidado. You have to be careful. Ellos puede que salgan del lago. Si corremos en línea recta, ellos corren más rápido que nosotros. A bit of a crash course in how to get close to these creatures is not to get too close, of course. He says they may come out of the water to let us know we're on their territory. And if they charge, run in a zigzag motion because they can only run in a straight line. They're letting us know that they know we're here. You can see all of those hippos behind us here. Now the problem is they can't keep them contained. Others have been able to get out and that's how they're turning up in other areas. Dos veces al día se les trae zanahoria picada, pasto picado y se les deposita en una de las Para playas. mantenerlos aquí, so you Para feed them sepan, to sí. try to keep them here. Exactamente. Oberdan Martinez runs the theme park. Here, the hippos are a main attraction. What we're seeing here is the only pack of hippos in the wild outside of Africa. In this region, in Doradal, in the part pues, semi-rural and urban, it's more common to see a hippopotamo than a cerdo. It's more common to see a hippo here than a pig than sí. a cerdo. There's concern the hippos have already started to displace native wildlife, like the threatened manatee, and keep getting too close for comfort. Sí, a mí se me pasó el macho y me pasó por debajo del bote subiendo aquí por este caño arriba. So, a male es un hippo es un under your boat, bajo eso, de su bote. Eso mejor dicho, vea, más de la abrazada. Así mía. de grande, this big. De ancho. In the past year, fisherman Pablo Jose Mejia has come across five hippos that have ventured outside the theme park. El animal es como un perro, sabe lo dar el trato bien. So it's like a dog, as long as you know how to deal with them, you'll be okay. Claro. But Echeverri fears with an ever-growing hippo population, it's only a matter of time until someone gets hurt. 
and killing the animals has proven highly unpopular. We can't just kill the hippos. And uh, the other solution is relocate hippos. It's a sterilizing hippos. Sterilizing, that would be very difficult. Yes. And it's expensive and too. And expensive and very dangerous. But with limited funds, it's a solution unlikely to stem the tide on a legacy that just keeps resurfacing. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Manuel Pujorquez, Puerto Triunfo, Colombia. Hippos are surprisingly fast. I yes, gather. they are. 20 yeah. miles an hour they can Yeah, have, yeah. On they safari. can only run straight, but they can run yeah. fast. Yeah, well, let me tell you, we avoided them like the plague when I lived in Kenya, especially during the rainy season.